is there any relationship between these, say, these price derivatives that I could use? Okay, this is, what does this imply? Well, differentiate this with respect to alpha. All right? Differentiate both sides. Remember, this holds for all values of alpha. Right? This, these two are equal for all alpha, right? Right? Everybody agrees with that. This just doesn't hold for some equilibrium value of alpha. This holds for all values of alpha. No matter what alpha I pick, this is true. Well, if this side is a, equal to this side as a function of alpha, then the derivative of this side has to be equal to the derivative of that side. Everybody agrees with that, right? If I have two functions that are equal at every point, their derivatives are equal. right? Everybody agrees with that. That's not true if the alpha was like some equilibrium alpha that just happened to equate these two sides. That wouldn't be true. You have two functions that cross, but if they're equal for every value of alpha, they got to have the same derivative. So I can differentiate both sides with respect to alpha. Well, alpha don't even show up on this side, so this side's derivative with respect to alpha definitely is zero. And this side's derivative is the sum of partial xih partial pj, j equals 1 to n, times pj equals 0. It says homogeneity says that if I add up over all the goods weighted by their prices, the, these price derivatives are equal to 0. Well, let me put that in a different way. Okay, let me divide through by xi which I can do because that's 0. I can divide that by xi. And what is that? What is partial xih partial pj times pj over xi? That's the cross price elasticity. That's epsilon sum j equals 1 to n of epsilon ijh equals 0. That is, homogeneity tells me that if I look at all the price elasticities for a given demand equation, right? This is going across the different elasticities for a given equation, right? This is equation for good i. The sum of all the price elasticities in the Hicksian system has to add up to zero. What do you agree with that? That's homogeneity. What does symmetry tell me in terms of elasticities? <coughs> How would you make those into elasticities? How do you make those into elasticities? Well, to make this an elasticity, what do I need? I need an xi here, right? Everybody agrees with that? Yes? Please help me out here. All right? You need an xi, because I need to make that. I need a pj here, right? So let me put an xi here, and let me put a pj over here. Everybody agrees I can do that, right? I put a pj on top on both sides, and I put an xi on the bottom and the top on this side. That's, that's fair in the game of mathematics, right? That's legit. All right, here I can put an xj. Xj, I can put a Pi, and I can put a Pi. Everybody agrees with that? Yes, no, maybe so, right? I can put an M here. I can put an M there. Everybody agrees? That's a fair again. I haven't violated any rules. And I'll cheat sometimes and violate rules. You've got to catch me when I do. Uh, Helps me get to where I want to get, see? This is, uh, what is this? That's the share of I. What is this? Epsilon Ij equals epsilon is H, H, J, I, S, J which means epsilon ijh divided by epsilon jih 
that is the ratio of these cross price elasticities is equal to SJ over SI. What does that say? What does it say? Well, it says in general these cross elasticities won't be equal, but they'll deviate from equality in a very particular direction. What if SJ is bigger than SI? That is, you spend more income on J than you do on I. It's got a bigger budget share. Then it says that J is more important for I than I is for J, right? This is like the tail and the dog, right? The dog wags the tail, the tail don't wag the dog, right? That's really all this says. The bigger one, the bigger good, is more important for the small good than the small good is for the big good. People see that? Which kind of makes sense. Right? But he understands that, right? Think about the fixed proportion case, kind of makes it easy to see. It's two goods in fixed proportions. I gotta buy A and B. A costs a thousand dollars, B costs a dollar. A 10% change in A is gonna be much more important for how much I buy of both of them than is a 10% change in B. In fact, it's going to take a thousand times as big a percentage change in B to have the same effect as a given percentage change in I. But he understands why. And this just says that's true even outside fixed proportions. This is just true in general. That the big good matters more for the small good than vice versa. This has very important implications, for example, in thinking about a marketplace. I'm a seller in a marketplace. I'm like the little guy in the market. I really care a lot about what the big guys are doing. They might not give a rat's ass what I'm doing, right? I'm small. I don't have much effect on them at all. They're going to care. I care a lot more about them than they care about me. Right? That's the way economics says it's going to have to be. That is, the cross elasticities are not going to be equal. They're going to be very unequal if the shares are very unequal. Right? It's not that we could be unequal. They are going to be unequal. That's what symmetry is telling me. They not only could be different, they will be different. And they'll be different to the tune of how different the shares are. That's what it's telling me. 